Welcome to Friday Friendly Kitchen. Today we are going to make ragi dosa or red millet dosa or crepe you could find said. And crepe is also a one of the grain that from what I know it is been fat grain that they eat. So I'm going to, we are going to make dosa or crepe in this in this millet. So let's get into the kitchen before we delay. And also, I welcome everyone who's new, who's watching the first time. Welcome aboard and do not forget to click the subscribe button. And so that you can, uh, you'll be notified by pressing the bell icon whenever I post a new video. So let's go to the kitchen now. To make the unique dosa using millet, which is also called ragi or kevar ragi in Hindi, or kevar in, um, in Tamil and it's also been uh, used for many many dishes and it's a very healthy millet and we are going to make this millet dosa uh, so we need a few ingredients only one cup of millet that is ragi or they call it as red millet and I have one, a half a cup of urad dal and I also have quarter cup of rice flakes thin and I also have quarter cup of uh, uh, itli rice so I will link all the links below where you can buy them in which grocery store and you can buy them from your from that particular store or you can do it online uh, for pony uh, for itli rice uh, for the rice flakes or rice um, the ri flattened rice or poha in Hindi and aval in Tamil and also wulund in Tamil and or urat dal in Hindi and black gram in in English and millet uh, red millet actually it's been called and it's also called in different names as well with ragi and kevar so these are the things that we need and I have to soak them and we will leave them overnight so I'm going to get uh, wash the rice first and here I have soaked the three ingredients first and this I will soak it later in uh, like half an hour to one hour before I grind them and I could see some dirt on top of the millet but before I grind I will remove them and then all the dirt and then I will uh, grind them. This has been rinsed and still there is some dirts are coming out from the millet. And also the ure dal has been washed and uh, first water is it's been after the rinsing it's been thrown out and I fetched a second water. This is for the fermenting process. And the itli rice is also been washed except the poha needs to be uh, soaked before uh, one hour to 20, uh, half an hour before I start grinding. So now I'm going to let it uh, to soak and then for at least about eight hours then I will do the grinding. So we will see in the next process. Our second step to do this uh, raki dosa or the kevar dosa or the millet dosa. So now all the ingredients are been soaked so it's time to grind so I have also preserved some of the water from the uh, urad dal and I still have some water from the uh, idli rice and some from the poha which I soaked it 30 minutes ago so it's well soaked now and uh, uh, the red millet or the ragi or kevar it's already been washed and I've already removed all the dirt and impurity. So now it's time for us to grind. Our first ingredient is the urad dal. So we shall add all the ingredients, I mean especially the uh, urad dal, just to be grounded first. And we shall add a little bit of water till the dal is completely submerged and now we can grind and I'll be back. Have you 
viewers, our Ura DAO is being grounded, so it can be transferred now into a sender steel pot. Our next step is to grind the Italy rice and the poha. With the poha we will grind half of it, then another half we will grind with the millet. We will add some water and we will continue grinding. Our rice and poha is been grounded. We can add with the ura dal. We will add the other half of the poha or the flattened rice. And now we will grind all the milk. This is ready for grinding. Our millet has already been grounded so we could add them together. We have already grounded and added everything so it's now just time to mix them up. Also, the traditional do dosa method will be used, but instead of that, I'm not going to add the salt at this moment. Salt come in just before we make the dosas. So for that, I'm just going to uh, use my hands and whip it. The whipping process takes about a few minutes, like three, uh, two to three minutes, or maybe four, to get the air into the into the batter. So it will be an uh, easier process for the fermentation as well. The whipping process is over, and now uh, we shall cover it with a pot cover, and also let it uh, ferment in a warm place approximately about seven to eight hours and we will come back after the seven to eight hours to see how the batter looks like and the batter for the dosa is already fermented it took me more than 12 hours because the weather in our area is a little cold as we stays and I'm not sure why it's the weather so let's see how fermented how well it has been fermented. It has well fermented with lots of bubbles. It means and it has risen a little bit. We don't need it to rise more. This is perfect. So now the dosa is ready to be made. As usual, we shall check the stove. And this is an indication that the stove is well uh, the, the pan has already been well heated up, so with that we'll rub it off and we'll add some sesame oil and with that we'll give a quick rub over the pan and it's time to pour the batter. Wait until it is cooked a little bit and we'll sprinkle some oil or ghee on it. So it's time now we can add some ghee or, or the sesame oil but I'm adding ghee today and those who are vegan you don't need to add ghee you can add uh, a sesame oil and with that a spray, little bit of sprinkle and after that we'll flip up as you can see the dosa on the sides has already been uh, cooked and we could just flip them up and we'll let it cook for a few minutes and I just 
flip that out and the dosa is ready just for extra flavoring I'm going to add a little bit extra ghee and it's healthy so the ghee is added and now we can fold it into half and our dosa is ready to be transferred into the plate and we'll try the next dosa so with that we'll start off by adding some of the sesame oil and grease the pan and we'll scoop up one ladle of the batter and pour it in the middle and circle it around sometimes it turns out well sometimes it doesn't but that's okay and we'll let it cook We have come to our end part of our video on making the ragi dosa or the ragi dosa or ragi crepe or the um, red millet crepe. So this is how it is been made and today I do not have any sambar or dal or any other curry but I have uh, some bitter gourd masala or spice bitter gourd. I will link the video below how to make them soon and this is what and it is going to be eaten with uh, this bitter gourd today so let us let us try this out in our kitchen in your home kitchens and let me know for those who are new welcome aboard and do not forget to click the subscribe button and also the uh, the bell icon so that whenever I post a video you will be notified I hope you have liked this video. Thank you for watching and being patient with me and seeing all the process step by step to make this ragi dosa. So till then, we will meet each other in our next video. But before I go, I wish all Christians a blessed season of Lent. So see you soon and in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Welcome to Friday Friendly Kitchen. Today we are going to make ragi dosa or red millet dosa or crepe you could find say it and crepe is also a one of the grain that from what I know it is been fed to peacocks so peacocks favorite 